Today we released the first release candidate for SureCart version 3. Last month I made a video on SureCart version 3 when we released the first beta. We released the second beta. Now we are on release candidate 1. I'm going to show you just a couple changes that you're going to see in it. I'm going to show you how to manually update to this and also just to fill you in, our intention is to release the final version of SureCart version three this month, October, 2024. To download the release candidate, you're not able to, if you're already on version three, update to the release candidate. You have to manually update to it. So what you'll do is you'll just go to the plugin listing here for SureCart. And if you notice over here, which is really cool, uh, we recently passed 50,000 active installations, which is incredible growth this year. We started with 10,000 on January 1st, and today we're at 50,000. We'll probably end the year at 70,000. So it's pretty exciting to become the we're still an underdog, but the number two e-commerce plugin for WordPress. So anyways, you go to this page and scroll down. You want to click on this link right here that says advanced view. And when you click on this, scroll all the way down. And this allows you to, this area right here allows you to download previous versions of SureCart, including that beta and release candidate that we're talking about. So here in this drop down, you can click on it and you'll see right here, it says uh, three RC1, that stands for release candidate one. Just click on that and then click on download and it's going to download that to your computer. Then go to your website, go to where plugins are, click on add new plugin and then click right here where it says upload plugin and choose that file that you just downloaded. And what it's going to do, it's going to say, do you want to overwrite the existing one that's there. This is how you manually update uh, any plugin, let alone SureCart to this new release candidate. Now, if you're using a prior version, we did also release an update today that adds notifications in the plugins listing. So what's going to happen is when version three, the final version is pushed out to everyone through the auto update system, there'll be a notice in there about it. Uh, just so you know, to make a backup, just in case we don't anticipate any problems, but after you manually update, you're going to want to just check the things on the front end to make sure everything is looking how you expect it to look. Now, this is something new that I am glad. This is something that I really wanted because with this new version of SureCart, there are certain caching configurations that can clash and cause issues. So if you're using a, a caching plugin, if one's active and installed on your website, you're going to get this notice and it's going to say configure and then it'll show the name of your caching plugin for SureCart. So in this case, it's Breeze. I just installed Breeze. And there's a convenient link right here. When you click on it, it's going to open in a new tab and take you to our document here on caching plugins, just to make sure you have it configured just right to work perfectly with SureCart. I'm back to the site now. So if you've reviewed this document, you can click this little X here on the notification that will make the notification go away and it won't be coming back. Now there's one more important change or new feature that is added inside of this release candidate that goes to address an issue that people have been requesting for a while. So when you have your list of products on your product list page or your shop page, users have been wanting to change the order of those products. And so we have come up with a quick way to be able to accomplish that. So when you go into, if you have version three installed and you go into a product, there's gonna be a new option there. So I'm gonna go into this product right here and over here on the right of the product, you're gonna notice a brand new option underneath publishing and it's right here, it says cataloged at. So the default ordering of the product list is going to be based upon the date it was added to your product catalog. There's filters for sorting, alphabetical, and, and all these various options, but the default order is going to be based upon the date. So if you have a product that you want to have be the first product that appears, you can go into that product and just change the catalog date. You simply click on the date and choose the, the, the date for today. So uh, this is saying September 12th, 
I'll click on now and it changed it to October 10th, which is right now, click on save product and now that product will appear at the top of the product list. Now, of course, there's more that we can do here and we will do here, but this is a new option to be able to have more granular control over the order of the products on your shop page. So this first release candidate might end up being the final version. We'd encourage you, we want to get as many merchants as possible to manually update from version two to version three. Get in touch with us if you have any questions or concerns with that. We'll be hyper responsive uh, to you. But like I said, we have up upgraded probably 50 sites by now that we have and we have hundreds of merchants that have already manually upgraded their store so we feel pretty good about uh, this release uh, but we want to be very careful this is your e-commerce it's very important part of your business and we want to show extreme care and caution to make sure we're doing this in a way that will have zero impact on all of the people that rely upon Surecart to run their business. But we're excited about this and we can't wait to get this out to you, including all these other updates and new features that we've already built, but we're waiting to get this out before we push it in like payable invoices. And we have a bunch of other things, taxonomies. Uh, there's a whole long list of things that we have coming that you've been asking for. Uh, we just need to get version three finally shipped. So that's it for this video. Look out for some emails we'll be sending. And I really hope you try version three. If you have any issues, just contact us and we'll be very responsive to get in touch with you and help you in any way we can. Thanks for watching.